day, guys. There's a coin hunter back again. All right. So still going with coin storage um, and my albums. This is my penny album. Now, I'll move that out of the way. So I decided to put my half pennies in with my pennies. So you go through. Now, I've almost finished my penny penny album. And like I went into this, and I don't know if any of you guys collect pennies and let me know if you do. I went into this thinking, uh, pennies are pretty cheap, this won't cost much to fill this, but it actually took a lot more time and um, a lot more research than I thought. Um, oh, I'll get this. And this came in really handy. Now, I didn't store them in this, but if you get yourself one of these, start out your collection. If you're not a big penny person like I wasn't, I, I knew a bit about them, but I mean, this tells you, like, you know, I'll come up a bit 1916 I, Calcutta, 1917 I. So there's a bit of a trick to these. So just be aware if you go click pennies. Um, I started off with this, and if you see some of my earlier videos, I was putting them in there. And then I decided I'll transfer them to a book. And dust off here. I bought all my pennies mainly local. I didn't buy any off eBay. I bought them off the coin shop in Hobart, and he helped me out a lot, really, just working it out. Um, and yeah, you can buy stuff off eBay, but you know. So if you see some of these coins here that are marked with prices, that's what I paid for some of them. Now, I'm missing the 1925, because I haven't bought the 1925 yet, because it's not cheap. You can spend $100, $150, or under. So the 1925 is low. So if you find a 1925 around, um, you know, if you like garage sales or markets or something, keep your eye out if you're collecting pennies. 1925, 117,000. So you'll pay a good premium for that one. That, that, a good order one will cost you more. I actually looked at one that was 400 and something dollars and really, really uncirculated. Un, and it, well, no, it's lightly circulated, but it was 400 and something dollars. I was like, what? I always knew the 1930 penny. My mum used to tell me when I was a kid the 1930 penny is the most collectible. And so, if you look through this, 1930 penny, um, 1930, estimated 3,000. So you can see why they're so hard to find. So, obviously, 925 is missing. Um, there's a few other years that are expensive too, and I'm missing one there too. And that was 920, I think. 920, 920. Now, I probably will buy that. I'll, I know it's not very expensive, so I'll get that's probably $10. But yeah, some of these uh, jump around in price, so be aware if you're going to collect pennies, guys. Um, yeah, like put some away, pick them up where you can. 940 kg. So I paid twelve dollars for that. Um, three dollars, three dollars. Why? Uh, three dollars. So some of them are cheap. Now, when it gets to nine, well, I've gone past it. Nine thirty penny. I was gonna buy a filler off eBay, but then I didn't really want more fake coins around the world around the place, so the coin shop gave me a good idea. Um, why not, and you notice my 1930 is full. Five dollars? That's because I used a British 1930, which is a great idea. Cost me five dollars. I can't really get the... Yeah, so that's a British one. So I thought, wow, why not? Sort of leaves, instead of leaving holes in it, um, I'll put 940, uh, 930 in there. And the other one you'll see is missing. I don't know why 942 is missing. 
I think we won. That's not that expensive. I'll probably collect that tomorrow. 1946 is another one that's getting very expensive. I think about $70, $80. Um, what's the mintage on that? 1946. That's $363,000. So you'll pay a bit for that one too. So be aware that the 1946, if you're looking out, 925 946 they're going to cost you a few dollars now you can see some of these I paid two dollars three dollars um, and it added up so quick like I bought it heaps of them from the coin shop and I spent a hundred and twenty dollars in there a few weeks but at Christmas time I was doing this nine dollars um, three two yeah so be aware it can add up quickly five dollars a dollar so some cheap but anyway I've just about finished it so I only have to pick up 925 946 is going to cost me the most and I think there's two other ones I'm missing a 1941 for some reason I don't know why and there's 925 goes there and 1941 I don't know why but anyway I'll get them like that tomorrow I'll go in the coin shop still on holiday so I might zip in and see what they've got oh and that 920 there yeah so 25 and 20 there so I should only be left after tomorrow with 925 and 1946 I don't know if I can justify the hundreds and hundred some dollars to buy those two but I'm getting pretty close to filling up my pennies now let me know guys if you collect pennies or not like oh, I just love the pennies so I guess I thought I'll get the pennies I thought it'd be a lot easier than what it is um, there's a lot of different types dots under this scroll work um, you really have to do your research a bit but it's definitely worth it and I've started my half penny collection I've got a few gaps well actually I've got quite a lot of gaps but yeah some of these in the 90 a little bit harder to get too it cost a bit more money around the war second world war era um, they're a bit harder you pay a few dollars three dollars three dollars two dollars a lot of these I already had I got a few at Garo, uh, sorry at markets and stuff so just keep your eye out guys at markets you know garage sales whatever you can find pennies and, you know put them in your collection but these are still all the same two by twos into the thing and this one has got extenders in it so I'll push it out yeah so they'll put extenders in that um, so these aren't screw and you buy this extender piece oh sorry and the camera would be useful so you can put in more more of these I'll put that back down can't find where it goes. Oh, here we go. Screw that back in. Whoa! It's falling apart on me. Okay, so that means I can whack more of these in whenever I want and extend it. So I don't have to buy another $25 album. I'm not sure what expenders, extenders cost me like three or four dollars, five dollars maybe. It wasn't that much. And then I can put some more of these in. So I've decided to keep my half pennies and full pennies together in the collection and I'll probably eventually I won't get a full set but I'll probably put some of my English pennies of the same era as the Australian ones in the back maybe I don't know keep them all together so that's the plan guys all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, everyone seemed to enjoy the last one I put up so I might do a bit more on storage and um, yeah let me know if you collect your pennies I'll be very interested to know what you guys are collecting and enjoying I'm going to go all the way through pennies, florins, sixpence I want to do the whole lot I don't know if I can but I really am interested in trying to do the whole lot because I just love the coins guys that's what it's all about for me collecting and the coins alright guys, Tazzy Coin Hunter out take it easy, stay safe and keep those coins safe